Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different and a topic that not many people enjoy talking about and not many people do talk about. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Artie, and this is The Moving Average. The week has come to an end, so you guys know what time it is. Let's get in to Focus Fridays. If you guys are unfamiliar with the show, every Friday I like to give you a little bit of motivation and inspiration to help you progress in your life. So as the year winds down and it starts to be the holiday season, not only do you get a chance to recap everything that's happened throughout the last year and all of the global situations that are happening, as well as your financial situation. Um, the holiday shopping season comes into play and you're wondering if you have enough money to buy presents for everybody, and the stress of being the breadwinner comes into effect. Whether you're male or female, it does not matter. If you're the one that needs to financially provide for your family, it can cause a lot of stress. I can almost guarantee that 0% of you that are looking into day trading or day trading as your full-time job are doing it because it's your hobby and you're good at it. No, you're doing day trading and you're getting into the financial markets because you're looking for an out, you're looking for that financial independence. Key word there being looking. Most of you guys, just like I did, do not have that financial stability. I know exactly how that feels. I know exactly how it feels to not have enough money to cover my expenses, to wonder if I'm going to make it long term. The difference between having financial stress and actually having enough money, like comfortably to pay your bills, it completely changes the entire paradigm of your entire existence. I can tell you that it is the most liberating and weightlifting thing that has ever happened to me. Being able to just spend money on groceries and gas and insurance and home ownership costs, like all of the things that come into effect of being a responsible adult, being able to pay those things easily and not actually know how much money is in your bank account because it's enough. You go from feeling like you're being weighed down by the entire earth to literally floating on a cloud. It is the greatest thing that I could recommend to anybody is having financial success and financial independence. And that's why I do what I do on this channel. I know that so many people say that Forex is a scam or day trading is a scam because a lot of people have lost a lot of money. And if you do it properly and you do the techniques and methods that I show on this channel over time, you will become proficient at it and you will generate revenue from it, freeing you up from your financial distress in your life and bringing that source of income that you've been searching for for so long. But one of the things that so many people brush over is not the technical aspect. It's not the education. It's the psychological aspect. In my genuine, honest opinion, day trading is only 10% knowledge and education. The other 90% is all a mental game. Being in the right mindset, being stable in your life, not having a roller coaster of emotions on a day-to-day -day basis is going to make you a better trader. If you guys journal any of your trades and you mark down how you were feeling on that day on your trade journal, I can guarantee you most of your losses happened on days where you were stressed, anxious, depressed, just weren't feeling right that day. And it happens to everybody, myself included. Now, I don't really know where it stems from. It could be the climate change that Poland is nonstop clouds and rain and no sunshine, causing me to have a lack of vitamin D. I don't know what the cause is. I just know what the effect is. You feel off your game. You feel unbalanced. And depending on the support structure around you, whether you have really good, motivating, close friends that you can talk to openly about any topic and you know you have that support team around you. Or if you're like me, you're in a country on the other side of the planet from the rest of your friends 
and you don't have many people to talk to. 80% of my day is sitting in a room by myself talking to you guys. The issue is you guys can't talk back to me right now. And by this point, you guys pretty much know me very, very well. You know that I'm ambitious. You know that I have productivity out the wazoo. And overall, I'm a high performing individual. So when I'm not at my peak performance, I go into troubleshooting mode. I'm like, okay, what's going on and how can I fix it as quickly as possible? Now, I might be generalizing here, but I'm gonna go a little bit gender specific, so please don't be offended by this statement. But when it comes to being a man and the breadwinner and the social norms that are instilled upon us from above, men are to be portrayed as these strong, ruthless, unwielding, you know, you don't cry, you don't get hurt, you don't feel pain, you suck it up, buttercup, rub some dirt on it. Like, that's the social norm. So when a man feels off or is going through an emotional roller coaster in their life, they usually internalize it and they don't talk to anybody about it because that's not the status quo. If we have problems, we're supposed to figure it out ourselves. We're not supposed to show any signs of weaknesses. I can guarantee you one thing. You repress all of that stuff for years and years and years, eventually that starts to stew and like boil and it will come out eventually and it will come out at the most inopportune moment whether it's through yelling, whether it's through breaking things, or whether it's doing something catastrophically dangerous to your life. If you're at that point, I highly suggest you call this number. This number right here is a suicide hotline. I know it's an off topic, but so many people, I get, you know, I get a lot of DMs, guys. You have to understand this. A lot of people come to me because they have no other outlet and they trust me. And I've had some people tell me, you know, hey, I lost a ton of money. I have a lot of instability in my life. I feel like there's no point in going on. I want to commit suicide. And this happens so often, especially with day traders, because it is a solo job. You're not working as a part of a team. You're doing this by yourself and you have no one to reach out to. So if you're at that point, please call that number. It is a international free suicide hotline. Life is worth living, so please take action. This is such an intense topic that like I'm even getting hot sitting here just talking about it. But I know that it's important and I know that a lot of you need to hear this. Like you need to know that it's okay to talk about these types of things. You need to know that there are people around you that are struggling, if not you yourself struggling, Everybody needs a community. Everybody needs that person that they can talk to. Everybody needs a way to let out the things that are dwelling inside of us. It's not a bad thing. It is normal. It is completely normal to have emotions. Repressing emotions and feelings that you have and struggles that you have, whether it's with your day trading or with your spouse or with your child. Like today's society is so pent up on Instagram and social influencers and having this lifestyle that feels unattainable by the normal average human being. Everything on Instagram is basically fake. Every picture of somebody usually has a face filter on them and that's not actually how they look. The view out of the window in their airplane is usually photoshopped. The sunset that they're looking at does not look like that. It's probably gray, but they replaced it with the Milky Way galaxy and the sun setting on Saturn. People on social media cherry pick the very best moments of their life, throw a filter on it so that it looks even better and that's the only thing that they show the general public. They don't show them crying in the bathroom because they're sad today. They don't show them a negative balance on their bank account because that's not cool. That's not inspiring. That doesn't get likes. So if you're like me and, you know, you don't have many people to talk to, you don't have those close friends that you can be open with about anything, I want you to first understand that it's completely okay. 
I'm going through it too. Like it's cloudy and rainy and I don't like it. I'm off my game, I'm not at peak performance and I'm a problem solver. Now I've done therapy in the past and it's helped me greatly get through the crappy things that have happened in my life. As you guys learned all the crappy things in my life through my why video. So recently I started going to therapy again and I primarily did it not because I'm sad or depressed but because I need like a performance coach. I'm operating at such a high level every single day. And when I'm not at my peak performance, I'm like, whoa, 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 what's going on? I need some coaching. I need some fine tuning. I need some tweaking. I need to let all of the things out that I'm dwelling on so that I can reevaluate the entire scope of everything. Like get an outside perspective and be like, ah, this right here is the area that I need to be focusing on. This is what's off. This is the squeaking wheel that's in my engine. I'm gonna give it the grease. So it's been about three or four weeks now that I've been doing these therapy sessions and just the simple fact of like talking out everything that's going on in my life and hearing myself say it, I have so many of those like aha moments where it just clicks like because when you're talking to yourself, you're thinking you're not like saying it out loud. The thoughts get muddled in your mind. They get very diluted and nothing really stands out it just becomes one big blur. But when you have to articulate something to somebody else to express what's going on, that's when you actually hear yourself and you get that clarity and you have your own aha moments. You're not going to therapy to get advice on whatever the topic may be. You're going to therapy to get it out and to hear yourself. And once you hear yourself and you get that perspective, that's when you can start the journey towards progressing to be better, to be a higher performer, to get out of that anxiety, to get out of that depression. Simply speaking to somebody else is gonna change the entire dynamic of what's going on inside your head. So this video is not sponsored by BetterHelp, but it's the application that I've been using to get paired with a therapist. Like you fill out a questionnaire and like all the things that are going on. And it's like a dating app where like you get matched with somebody that like specializes in the things that you need. So I got matched and like, you know, I can text this therapist, I can have a phone call with this therapist, I can get on a video call with this therapist as many times as I want. And it's like, I have that constant, you know, when I'm going through a rough hour of the day, I can just like text him and be like, you know, hey, this is what's going on. So it's super cool. If you guys want to check that out, I added it down there. Basically, my goal is to not make this a faux pas topic. I want everybody to be open about all of the mental instability. Like everybody has mental instability. Like literally everybody that I know has had something happen in their life where they could have used some help, but instead they internalized it. Don't internalize it. Find your best friend and talk to them openly about the things. If you don't have a best friend, get a therapist. It's just super simple. Like don't overcomplicate the process. Whatever's going on inside your head, all it needs to do is come out and see the light or the sunshine. Like all the bad things will manifest and you'll have a clearer picture on it and you'll be able to fix whatever's going on in your life. Making that fix, resolving those issues will put you in game day state where you are performing at your peak performance. That's what you need when you're day trading. You need to not have the distractions. You need to not have the stress. You need to be focused. You need to be laser focused on what you're doing. And you can't do that if you're not in the right headspace. So whether it's daily meditation in the morning or yoga for an hour a day, whether it's going on a hike or a bike ride, talking to your best friend, going to therapy, whatever you need to do to get in the right headspace, I highly suggest that you do it because what's the alternative? It's okay to not be at 100%. Not many people are on a daily basis. I know this wasn't your typical like motivation, inspiration, focus Friday, but it was a message that I really wanted to get out to you guys because so many of you write to me asking for help and I'm just one dude. I can't respond to everybody. It is a physical impossibility at this point. So I want you guys to know it's okay to reach out to somebody. It's okay 
to contact your friends. It's not okay to keep it all bottled up inside. So I hope this message reached a few of you. I hope that you really heard it and either you or someone you know can use you or someone you know as a support system. And just in case you haven't seen it and all of the bad things that happen in my life, you can find out about it in my why video right here. And if you enjoyed this video and you got some value out of it and you wanna see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking this button right here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that life is good and we will see you in the next video.